Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for a Sunday vlog. I'm back home in California. I landed really late Friday night and really early Saturday morning. I lead a Bible study and I just spent yesterday unpacking, doing laundry, cleaning the house, all that kind of stuff. And then I spent this morning catching up on emails and I finally feel caught up and I feel so good. And so it's a Sunday vlog. I figured it'd be really fun to like get life back together a little bit with you. I need to get groceries. And then I don't know if you can see can you see in there? I have so many packages of really exciting stuff. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little mail time. Brooke is still asleep. And typically what we do in the mornings is I'll wake him up and then we'll go sit outside on the lawn chairs in the sun and drink coffee while we let Max run around and go potty and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna wake him up and see if, if he wants to go do that. I woke up Brooke and I'm going to make him an iced latte. That's sweet, right? Okay, ready? This is always so satisfying. Oh, too much. Too full. Gentle. Mmm. <laughs> Honestly, getting these lounge chairs was the best thing we've done out here because it's the best part of our morning routine. You haven't been in the vlog in so long and people, I know you just woke up, but people said that they like the Texas vlogs, but they missed you. Let's unbox. I've been waiting to do this. It's only 10 a.m., but I've been staring at all of these since yesterday and I'm so eager to open them, so. Let's get into it. These are good things. Makeup. You wanna open makeup? This is a new brand and I'm really excited to play around with it. Lila B. Ooh, cute packaging. Oh, there's a lot in here. Let me pull it all out real quick. We have a priming oil and a face mist. Then, oh, Glisten and Glow Skin Illuminator. Oh, what? I love this packaging. This is just like a highlighter, but it's, it's such a cute, unique little package. I've never seen anything like that. What the heck? Divine Duo Cheek and lip this is the same these are so cute wow okay so it's like a blush lip gloss combo Let's see what this is oh this is another maybe just a different color Ooh, this one's a nice kind of bronzy pink i like that then we have a lip treatment oil y'all know i love lip treatment oils oh wow so much more than color let's see oh it's thick i like it it smells very sweet I can't quite put my finger on the scent curious about the packaging let's try the face mist too while we're at it Oh, it's very like eucalyptus-y. Oh, it's refreshing. Wow, these are so cute. I can't wait to play around with these. Thanks, Lila B. This is something I bought with my own money from Lululemon. I'm so dang excited. This is a new crew neck material they have. And I was with Jacqueline and I felt it in every single Lululemon we went into. We went into four when we were together. I just love this. It's the, I think it's called Soft Support. Cream. Where's the label? Perfectly oversized crop crew, but I think the material is soft stream. And they just came out with more colors. I'm really excited to have this. This is a cool brand called Mix Hers, H-E-R-S. And they have all different types of like pre-made little drink mixes I'm really excited about. Like here's a power one, like a pre-workout kind of, a greens one and um, one for your cycle. And I think that they have so many more, like an immunity one. I wanna try that one. I'm excited to play around with these. This is from my agency. So I don't really remember how much I explained this, but I did end up signing with an agency for YouTube to help manage like a lot of brand deals and such. And they're called Space Station. It's started by Sean Duras. I don't know if you've heard of him, but they have like a whole gaming sector. And apparently they just came out with merch so let's see what we got oh my gosh so cute <laughs> face station gaming ball cap that is so cute i wonder if wait i kind of like it i was gonna say wonder if brooke would want it oh my gosh a water gun wow this is very soft <laughs> This is precious. A Space Station Gaming little yellow t-shirt with the with their logo on the back. And a blue one with a little pocket. These are very soft. I'm very impressed. Ooh, cool. It looks like a towel, but the material is not like a normal towel, like microfiber, maybe. Ah, I love my agency family. They're truly the best, the sweetest people. So glad I found them. Made my life a lot easier. <laughs> I have a big box from Drunk Elephant. Every time I see this emblem on a box, I scream a little bit and I tell Brooke, guess what, guess who, guess who it's from, guess who? Oh my gosh. Okay, first we have a little cool tote bag that has Drunk Elephant on it. Ah, another towel. This one says, it beats your heart out. And there's little like pom-pom tassels on it. That's precious. I have been so curious about this. This is the Obloos Rosy Drops. This is the first thing that I think I've seen that is a little bit on the makeup 
side because um, they're pretty strictly like skincare, body care, hair care. But this, you can add it as like a little bit of a blushiness to your cheek. Wow. Let's try it. I just did a tiny bit. I don't know how far it goes. Do you see it? Ooh, it's like a lighter pink than I was expecting. That is pretty. And y'all know I much prefer cream and liquid makeup to powder. So I'm very excited about this. How exciting. I got a couple things from Third Love. Yay! I've been wanting to try this so bad. They came out with underwire free, like I guess maybe bralettes is the best way to explain it. They look so cute and comfy. Look at this. It's like a ribbed navy blue material. This just looks so comfortable to sleep in, to lounge in. I'm so excited. This is one of their underwire free bras. This is a scoop neck and it's supposed to be like, what do you call it where there's no lines? So this also looks so comfy. Just wear it almost like a tank in a sense underneath something else. So excited. And then I think this is, they came out with my favorite bra in some new colors. My two favorite bras I get asked all the time are the 24-7 Perfect Coverage Bra. It's probably my number one because the straps are very comfortable. And then the 24-7 T-shirt bra is another one of my favorite because it's very supportive but like barely there, if that makes sense. Yes, here they are. This is, this is the perfect coverage. See these super comfy, thick straps. And both these don't have like any push-up padding. It's just kind of like just what you need, you know? And then the t-shirt bra came out in two new colors and they're so happy and cheerful. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay! Love you, third love. So I got the Women's Collective Box Summer Box. But I'm gonna hold on to it, I think, because I would love to do like a dedicated unboxing or just like spend more time unboxing that. But also she sent me some goodies from her. She basically has like an add-on market where you could add on to your box or just shop at like a store and it's the cutest stuff. So she's like, I'm gonna send you some goodies. Keep your eye out. I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. So definitely not for sure, but there's a possibility that in a future box, you might see something summer mornings and women's collective box. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Ooh, I'm so excited. Everything is just so my vibe. Okay, first we have an intentional journal for mindful ritual and wellness intention. That is so my aesthetic. I'm so excited about this. I love it. Then sun dream coffee. Wow, wow, wow. I love that. Evenly made, I think it's called. Oh, so pretty. It's just like a very delicate chain necklace, I believe. Wow, look at this box. So stinking cute. Gosh dang. Oh my word, there's so much in here, Rochelle. <laughs> I love you. Something for Max. I'm so excited. Botanical bones, adaptogen, superfoods, peanut butter, immunity, and wellness. Oh my word. That can we take a minute for the packaging? The packaging on all these things is so above and beyond. <laughs> there's so much in here, I can't. I can't believe it. That's gonna be so cute on him. Rochelle, there's so much in here. Modern theory. It's a candle. I love candles. We gotta smell the candle. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It smells so good, so summery and fresh. Her passion burns brighter than her fears. I cannot, I cannot with all of this. I feel so spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> I love anything nutrition. This is an adaptogen blend. It says nurture my skin. It has turmeric, rose hips, cordyceps, protects against skin damage, inflammation, and wrinkles by Peak and Valley. I geek out over this kind of stuff so much. It's so up my alley. And there's even something else. Oh my gosh, this is the most stunning vase. Actually guys, I was really wanting to go and get flowers today and make a flower arrangement. And I am in love with this vase. I think we absolutely have to do some sort of tall arrangement in this. What do you think? Ah, Rochelle, I love you. Okay, comment down below. I'm gonna save her full box for um, maybe a separate unboxing. Let me know what you think about that. Just the cutest. This is such a good spot to go for gifts for other people too. Like birthday gifts, create your own little like gift basket from her add-on market and send it to someone. I cannot believe it. What happy mail time. I'm gonna clean up 
and then let's get on with our day. Wow. We are at Trader Joe's as a way to get out of the house. I, I love Trader Joe's, but I can't do all my grocery shopping there because like Oatly and Just Eggs and I guess those are like the two things that I live off of that I can't get at Trader Joe's. So I actually placed an Instacart order for Sprouts. A couple dinner ideas I had. I want to try to do like zucchini boats with like sausage and marinara and mozzarella. So I got stuff to do that maybe tonight. And then I found a corn salad that looks really good. And we have leftover butcher box meat that I figured we could do a steak or a grilled chicken or something with that. Um, but the main thing I want for Trader Joe's is of course flowers. I haven't made a flower arrangement in a few weeks just because life's been busy and then I was gone, yada yada. Very eager to make maybe two flower arrangements and then just see what little snacky things. The hard part about Trader Joe's is a lot of the really good stuff is frozen and our freezer is stuffed right now with Butcher Box, Daily Harvest, True Fruit, things that we get in bulk is it's very full. So we'll have to see. I'll have to I'll have to restrain it. Also, this is weird because when I was in Texas, the mask mandate lifted in California. In Texas, like nobody is wearing masks anymore. And at first I was kind of weirded out by it, but I had to keep reminding myself, like, I'm fully vaccinated. I'm fully vaccinated. <laughs> like everybody says you're let's do this. Uh, but here I just don't know the vibe yet, you know, like it's lifted, but this is my first time going into a grocery store. Since I've been home. So like I have my mask with me. I, I always just look around to see what the majority of people are doing because I get really stressed out when I don't know what social norms are. I'm like hyper aware of my surroundings and social norms and trying to be like respectful and considerate. And I know, I don't know, when things change, I'm like, okay, what is considered norm? What do I do here? Is that just me? <sighs> okay, let's go. Let's go in. Okay, I thought all of these were really pretty together. All just different yellows and whites. And then they have a big old thing of cotton candy grapes and I love these. Okay, I found sparkling lemonade. I love their sparkling watermelon juice. So I thought this could be good to try. For snacks, I got this for Brooke, which is dangerous because I love these, but they don't make me feel great. <laughs> and then these just seem interesting. They're crunchy mushroom snacks, like literally just like mushroom oil salt pepper basically so I don't know this is, this is a wild card but it could be good to try wow I'm so impressed I always avoid Trader Joe's on a Sunday because I figure it's gonna be like packed but I was in and out and I would say 60 to 70 percent of people were wearing masks but more than half of the employees were not wearing masks isn't that like a very confusing social situation when you're like what is what is expected of me here uh, I probably just overthink things because I'm a chronic people pleaser and I never want anyone to think I'm doing the wrong thing sanitizing my hands we could try these I think that they look very interesting can you see it that's what it looks like it just kind of smells actually a little bit like plantains hmm Weird. The taste is very good, but something about the texture like really dries out your mouth. Like it's trying to rehydrate in your mouth by like taking all your saliva. <laughs> the flavor is really good. Kind of a trippy experience. And then I had to get this again. We tried this. It's like so in, in my teeth. We tried this in the vlog that we went to shoot summer mornings and I love the other watermelon kombucha by Health Aid. And then I tried this one by Synergy and it's like very, very tart and limey. It's so different, but it's really good also. Mm. Oh, it's so summery and it like revives you with just a single sip. Okay, let's go home and make some flower arrangements. Wow, I'm feeling like Mikel's back, you know? She's got kombucha. She's gonna make some flowers. She's got on an outfit that makes her feel cute. She's talking in third person. <laughs> when I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong I want it all all gone save as many as possible for the big bouquet. But this one turned out very whimsical and summery, which I think is great for my office. I need to clean my desk. I actually need to clean my whole office. I cleaned all the boxes, but I need to put away all the stuff we unboxed earlier. And then the big one, 
is in here and I think it looks so good. I love mixing like three or four different flowers, but all the same color because it makes it look more cohesive in my opinion. Oh. Wow, I've missed doing that. I need to put away the rest of our groceries got here, clean up the kitchen, and then the Dodger game is on at one, but I figured tonight we can make dinner together. I'm gonna try those zucchini boats, see how they work out, and then I still need to put the rug down in our room. I need Brooks help with that though. So depending on his workload, that might be this vlog, that might be a future vlog, we will see. Sorry if you can hear the Dodger game in the background, but I am reading my friend Sarah's book because she's gonna be on our podcast soon. We're gearing up for season two and I realize it's about almost drink o'clock. And I think I mentioned in a vlog recently that there is a new coffee shop. It's the second location in Pasadena called Amara. And they have so many good McKelsey foods and they have the best chai of my life life. It's a spice chai. It has a little bit of a kick and it's not too sweet. It's hard to find chais that aren't super sweet. And so I went yesterday and I got two so that I could have one for today and I'm just going to put it over ice. Okay. Here's my zucchini boats going into the oven. I did it so simple, literally just sausage and uh, marinara <laughs> and mozzarella and seasonings. And that is it. I was going to add in some like beans or corn or something, but it was enough of volume as is, so I left it. See how they turn out in like 25 minutes. Well, here they are. It was so easy. I hope they taste good. We're probably gonna go eat outside because it's really nice. Um, but if it tastes good, the actual physical part of this took less than 10 minutes and then baked for 25. So I might might do this more often because it was very easy. You ready for dinner? Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna be the taste test if it's good? You can be honest for the sake of the people. Not you. You can't. <laughs> All right, everyone can trust Brooke's opinion because he uh, it's brutally honest. is brutally honest and kind of picky, but also eats anything, if that makes sense. I'm gonna get a better bite. Yeah, get one with like cheese. cheese. Yeah. Oh. It's pretty good. Really? Yeah, it kind of tastes like lasagna, but like- Way healthier. With veggies in it. Dang, high five. New dinner. Healthy, easy. Didn't follow a recipe, just kind of yellowed. Come here. Okay, I'll come to you. Max and I are going, oh, they're sweet. You guys smell bad. Max and I are going to end the vlog here because uh, I think I have a lot of footage from unboxing all those packages. And I think we're going to watch a family movie. And I am definitely going to put on a face mask because Texas wrecked my skin. <laughs> I think I ate a lot of cheese, which I don't normally do. I even have a zit. This is TMI but I have a zit under my nose right here and that has never happened before. Oh, did you bring me Ellie? That is so sweet. That is so sweet. <laughs> but I wanted to say I love y'all so much. Thank you for spending a Sunday with me. I hope you have the best rest of your day and we will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you, here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in